Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, all my artists, creators, crafters, and makers. Welcome back to The Lovely Lab. Now today, guys, I am going to prep some envelopes for some happy mail now i'm gonna prep them as in decorate them on camera but obviously off camera i'll fill them up and drop them in the mail now i've pulled out some ink ink uh, distress oxide tumbled glass um this hampton art acid free dye based ink um this ink that i got in happy mail and I want to say it's probably a pigment ink um, along with some different stamps. Now, as you probably have heard me say in, in the past um, in different videos, when I'm mul doing multiples of things, um, I limit. I try to limit the materials and the supplies that I use so that it will prevent me from um being you know getting delayed trying to make a decision the more options i have the longer it's going to take me to choose so i'll pull out a few stamp sets in the beginning a couple of inks to create a theme and then i'm gonna stick with it i may vary how i place the stamps or the, you know the colors and have or alternate but in the end the less i have to choose from the better off i have especially when it comes to making multiples or mass making. Now, if you're just making one envelope to drop in the mail, you can sit there for an hour and doodle and, you know, or however much time you have. But if you are limited on time, much like myself, then your best bet is to kind of just limit what you are going to use from the start. And then in the end, if there's something else you want to add, you'll you'll get to that point and you'll determine that um at the appropriate time so anyways without further ado and without any further chatting prior to me getting busy um so again i pulled out the distress distress oxide spray tumble glass um i have the two inks i have uh some liquid pearls what color is that raspberry some stickles crystal and some white paint for splatter effects if in the event that this doesn't pop the way I want it to, then I'll resort to the to the splatters. Because this color is so dull, it's not dull, you know, it's it's not a dull color, but it's very hard to find colors to complement with this. Um that are not earth tone. And seeing that we're in the spring, I want to kind of go with something that's a little bit, you know, a little little less and more. You got that? Do I need to repeat that? Just hit rewind. Anyway, so um, I pulled out this Bow Bunny stamp set, and here's the stamp. Now, I don't have a large enough block on here. I do have a, the, the tonic stamp. Um, I don't even know what it's called. What the heck is it called? But for some reason, I am not getting the impressions on that that I like. What is it called? It's called the... Uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's called the... This is it. This is what I'm referring to. Uh, I'm not getting the impressions that I want. So I actually need to purchase a larger block, a couple of extra larger blocks, long ones and wide ones. Anyways, um, so I pulled that out. Uh, that's Bow Bunny. Pulled out the Lost and Found because I love using these. And I may use this because I just got to get the teacup, a teapot into the situation. I have a new stamp set that. I could use but I'm not gonna pull it out and then there's a floral here that I'd like to use so and that's by just right clear Amy tether designs okay so let me stop running my mouth and get busy now if you are new to the channel and you enjoy paper crafting then you've come to the right place. I enjoy all things paper crafting. I'd say with the exception of scrapbooking, it makes me a little uh, anxious. Um, so I do a little bit of it, but I don't do it on camera and I don't plan to do it. I do it sporadically a few times a year um, simply because I just, I don't need the stress. Um, but I do like to, like to document my son's growth and his you know milestone moments. 
So let me make sure I got this the right way. Oh, and let me put this piece of foam, let me move this other stuff out of the way, put this piece of foam underneath here because this is not polymer, meaning uh, clear polymer. And those are the ones that produce the very best stamped impressions, in my opinion. So I'm going to put this here. And prayerfully, that's a straight line. I mean, you know, you get what I'm saying. And this does, the stamp does not fit all the way on this, this block. So I kind of <laughs> got to jimmy rig it, you know. But if it works, it works. Oh, nice impression. So I'm going to do that one up top. I'm going to do all of them up top. No, I'm going to do the next one in the middle. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone is having a great day. Now, I am filming this the night before Mother's Day. My husband is away. Um... Uh, back, he went back home for um, to attend a funeral of a family member that passed away. So it's just me and Josh here, and guess what? We are going to have for Mother's Day. We're going to have Mother's Day brunch. Yes, we're going to have. Um, well, I have Sunday school at nine o'clock <laughs> or nine thirty, and that lets out around ten thirty, and uh, church starts at eleven. But by the time Sunday school lets out. I will be putting some croissants on, some bacon, some eggs, um, and some sausage for my son. And then we will have ourselves a mother, son, Mother's Day brunch. It'll be around 11 o'clock by that time anyways. And I'm sure he'll be hungry. Um, he doesn't eat bacon or many other meats for that matter. Um <laughs> He eat fried chicken. <laughs> and he only eats the drumsticks. Let me tell you. This one I'm going to do down at the bottom. So let me slide that down there like that. I'm going to put it down here. Um, But yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting up. I'm, not, I'm actually going to stay in bed right up until it's time for me to attend church. Because I do attend church virtually. Thank God. I love it. I truly enjoy it. Um, And I don't always be on camera either. Because Lord knows my hair and my, I don't do hair and makeup that often unless I have to for like real estate. But I will, you know, if I got to come on camera for the, for the people of the, of the, uh, Heavenly Father. You know, if I got to pop up and show my face or speak or something like that, I'll do a little something. But other than that, that camera is off and I'm listening, taking notes. And tomorrow I will do, I will arise a few moments prior to Sunday school so I can read my, um, Sunday school lesson and that's a little crooked but it's okay so it's perfectly fine um, and then after Sunday school we'll have us uh, get some brunch going and eat and enjoy one one another's time chit chat he and I will and then I'll attend church and he will attend children's church and then I think we're gonna leave out to go take his godmother one of my good friends um, a Mother's Day gift so no, I think, let me, I got to test out, let me close up this blue, because that blue can get tricky, you know what I mean? Um, especially that pigment ink, it won't go anywhere. All right, I want to try this rose. I'm going to probably do a corner piece where it just, the spray of it comes out the corner. Mmm, that's a wonderful smell. Don't mind me, folks, and don't judge me. Okay, let me see how this... Now, of course, I'm going to stamp it on this white colored paper, but I'll still get an idea of what it's going to look like on the envelope. Of course, I could use some tips and tricks and, you know, uh, color that one color, and but I'm not doing it. I'll make it work. Yeah. I think it'll work. Or should I go dark brown? No, I don't want to go dark. Let me stick with the pink. It's more like a fuchsia, a deep fuchsia. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll head out, take his godmother a gift, and 
and that and we'll come back home and watch one of the classics i told him that for mother's day my gift from him i, I would like for it to be um that we watch one of my classic favorites like um the sound of music or the wizard of oz i think it's important that he wait let me put this underneath here that's what should be underneath there not the white paper my goodness i think it's important that he uh watch gets gets an idea of what was entertainment back in the day you know he probably he probably could care less but uh times were a little simpler and uh it's faint, but it'll work. It will work. But then it'll also allow me to go crazy with it. Um, I think there's another. No, I'll use. Oh, I know that. That's right. I wanted to use this one as well. So this will be the main focus but there'll be background of this light pink because gracious is definitely not so getting back to the classic movies um i love the sound of music it's one of my favorites um or the old original annie let me let me hit the other ones with this one i'm here yes it's a hard knock life not even underneath the there we go yeah it was tricky all right Let's see if I can get more of that onto the... watch me mess it up <laughs> doing so much Yep, that worked. Okay, and then I'll put a little bit here at the top. And then I'll come in with the... With this one. So this is kind of serve. This stamp is just serving as kind of like a background, you know? Now, when I receive decorated mail like this, in which case, when I send the, the happy mail, I'll send it in the envelope, but I will also send it in a poly mailer. Um, you know, I'll slide this into another envelope uh, so that it can be, this can be used uh, in journals or however they want to use it. Because we always recycle stuff, don't we? And there's no shame in it. None whatsoever. All right, so I think I got to do the third one, and then we'll move on to another part. Now, it's been a minute since, I f it, it feels kind of odd with the camera on and me actually crafting because it's been so long. I haven't done very much crafting. I've done, um, and I've enjoyed making the um, the Love Out Loud Mother's Day boxes, Mother's Day edition boxes. Um, but it has consumed a lot of my time the, between the designing, the sourcing, and the um, the purchasing of them, you know, and uh, putting them together, putting the boxes together. It has taken up a lot of time. And I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it d doesn't leave a lot of time for me to actually craft. So now that I am back here crafting gracious here I go again with this I think that class might be in the way I'm not sure that'll work yep the class was and then I'm gonna come over here as well yep there we go but now that I have those boxes in the mail and shipped off I've got a couple um uh, people reached back out to me, let me know that the they, the recipients received them and they were overjoyed. One, uh, min, uh, one person reached out to me to let me know that the box was exquisite. Those were her words, exquisite. 
I said, oh, well, there's a word that's never been associated with me. <laughs> May my gifts make room. Amen. All right. That was kind of faint. Could have did a little better, but it'll work. It's, it's perfectly fine. We're not going to obsess about it. So we can make it fabulous towards the end, right? I do think that it needs... Um, uh, where is it? Let me see. Not that. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so it's the next day. I've let it dry. And I feel like it's missing a little something. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of texture uh, by way of the stamp here. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And then, no. Oh, I forgot I had that one. Actually, I was looking at that one. But this one might do the trick. And along with this uh, small script stamp. So that's, I'm actually just going to use this one stamp set because uh, why not, right? And then I'm going to be done. And then I'll just show you the, the end result of the whole process. Okay. Actually, let me put the script down first. I'm going to do it lightly. off the edge here. I don't even know which way is what I think this is. It's slanting to the left, to the right, although I'm left-handed, so I, I actually slant my words to the left. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's what you need. It just need a little bit of extra something, you know? all three and then I'll add the bubbles we ain't gonna be all day with this um, we'll go for one here and then there. that's good all right, and that's Josh in the background, not really caring that I am fil filming, but that's nothing new. If you've been here for a while, then you know that I have a gamer as a son, and uh, in terms of uh, being quiet for mom, that is not what he's about. All right, now let me try the blue, just add a little bit more detail in here. I think I'm going to go in here. Oh, there we go. It's a bit much, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. And just one more for, for the sake of threes. <laughs> I think that's a little piece of OCD. Don't you think? Just got to have the threes in there, right? And sometimes it just gives the la a layered effect, you know, when you add different... Uh, textures and um, colors um, and sizes you get a nice layered feel let me go over here all right I actually need to come up some from here so now that I have four let me go with an odd number It's just me, folks. Just me. There we go. All right. And let's see what we got here. Move that off to the side. I'm going to bring this down a bit. So you all can see. Of course, the camera would tilt a little bit, but that's all right. So... What we have in that color, this the camera is just not picking up the cup. Well, there we go. That's a little bit better. So we've got some. Uh, I had to do something with the the blue. Improvise as you will, you know. Um, I like the way it came out. It, this is not my favorite Happy Mail set, but this is a, this is not my favorite envelope of my of the set. This is actually my favorite right here. I think this came out more so along the lines of what I can envision in my mind. I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to go with this color again in terms of Happy Mail because it's really hard to find colors that complement that. And you know what, that, that little bit of uh, paint blending or uh, distress ink uh, smearing, it's okay. You know, it's perfectly okay because this is handmade happiness, folks. 
So I will go ahead and fill these up, slide them into a um, acrylic or pl a plastic mailer and put them in the mail and hopefully put a smile on somebody's face. All right. So there we have that. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope this has inspired you to bless someone with your creativity today. You know, whether you just decorate an envelope and drop in a little note that says, hi, how you doing? Or a little card, whatever, you know, but it's, it's important that we do what we can to make life good for everybody. You know, one person at a time, one mailman, one coworker, one friend, one uh, cashier at a time, right? All right, so listen, if uh, you are still here and you enjoyed this and you are not a current subscriber, this is a great time for you to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can be notified of any time that I do a little crafty something and you guys can play along with me. And for those who are returning subscribers, I just want to thank you so much for coming back time and again, being in that comment section, for letting me know the things that you guys like, and also letting me know the things that that you don't which that's not that often but even when you do I'm perfectly fine with it because I know that I'm not always gonna hit the nail on the head um, but when I do you guys always let me know so I thank you so much for um, helping me to grow this channel and for sharing the videos and sharing the love and so until we're back here together on YouTube my friends stay encouraged stay blessed stay creative and crafty let's take another look She did it again. Okay, Heather, that's pretty much it. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Libby's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.